Hello everybody, welcome to the Blood Bowl 3 Season 2 Finals. Losers bracket round one. We have got Plotinus with his blue. Um, no, let, let's go Let's go with the proper colours. Plotinus with his uh, white and cream and green dwarves. Versus Andy Davo and his blue orcs. This is distinct enough, isn't it? Um, so let's have a look at the teams after this. Okay, so Davo's gone with four guard total. Uh, two on biggins, two on blitzers. A block biggin and a frenzy blitzer. He's gone with a troll, which means he hasn't got an apothecary. And uh, Plotinus has, has gone for a pretty strange build. He's gone two runners and still, and he's gone two runners, but still blocked one. And then he's got the mighty blow on the troll slayer and four guard. I mean, don't need to say what I personally would have done because I did it, but then I didn't qualify, and he did. So, was he luckier or was he a better player? Let's find out. <laughs> Spoilers. I know the answer, but <laughs> we're not here to be mean. <laughs> <laughs> We're here to call it like we see it and be completely impartial and say not what I would have done, but who can say if it's good or bad? The classic Blood Bowl commentary. Sometimes true, often not. You'll notice the difference between Davo and Smilzo here is that Davo has his strength five guy who can three dice dwarves on the LOS, well armor nine. And 3Ds in armor 9. And gets a removal. Almost as if utilising your strength 5 mighty blow player is a good idea. I don't know why I picked on Smilzo there. I just had it in memory when he just randomly stranded his Croxagor over here for no apparent reason in his match. Um, turns out it's better smashing people with it. Who knew? Who knew? So a big commitment to the to the to the right hand side here, isn't it, with these two guarders? And uh, interesting. I guess he wants to uh, stop the frenzy doing something. I mean, if you're going to do that, though, wouldn't you put an extra guard in so that he can't hit at all? Oh, is he going to surf him? What a surprise! <laughs> Wait, he's not surfing him. He hasn't blitzed, has he? Whoa, 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 whoa. This was a block. And then he... Oh, okay, so the frenzy was there. But he could have still blocked with him, couldn't he? And then him, and then I guess he couldn't get someone or anybody around. Yeah, okay, okay, he couldn't surf. But he could... I guess so... He should have been thinking about setting up the surf next round. Which he kind of is doing a bit. Oh dear. Turns out jamming in with two guarders wasn't such a great idea. You don't have the strength and they've like nearly got as much... Like they've nearly got as much guard, haven't they? Oh wait, wait they've got the same? They've got the same. They've both got four guard, except the orcs have got strength four and strength five. And they're faster than you. <laughs> and they're faster than you. Ridiculous. Uh, this is just an instant surf, isn't it? You have to follow there. And even if he followed, he still probably gets surfed by the frenzy. Because he could have, um... Okay, let's go back. Let's go back. <laughs> I guess he couldn't free the frenzy up. Because of this was there. Mm. So he couldn't actually free the frenzy. So if he'd followed here, would it would he have been surfable? Maybe not. But I mean, he's just begging to get his guard surfed here. What I liked was if you could possibly free the uh, frenzy, 
I would have liked to have got the frenzy around, right? Like got the frenzy around and 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 hit the uh, runner into the guy and been really greedy. But like this is great, just surfing the surfing the guard here, turn three, plenty of time. Oh, so he won in nines and re-rolls. So, you know, fairly greedy there from Devo. Um, but understandable to surf a guard. A guard dwarf is incredible, right? It's so hard to get removals, even if even if Plotness is giving you loads of blocks every turn. It's so hard to get the removals that I uh, can't complain about that surf whatsoever. Interesting that he blitzed, isn't it? Because um, I guess he makes it a bit harder to hit the ball. Could have, like, blitzed with the uh, troll at the end, right? And just left him there for a turn. Would have been a stronger push down the side. Slayer blitz. And a removal. Ooh. And a 1D. Wandy. But he's just he's just giving away so many hits each turn. But Devo has to temper hitting each turn with actually making progress, right? Like he's he's kind of falling into the same trap as he tends to do in playoff games that I've noticed. <laughs> Which is just trying to bang people out rather than position well. And uh, I thought this turn was terrible by him. Terrible. And uh, not be I'm not a hater, okay? Objective analysis. This is turn four. And you know he's he's got a man advantage. And all he's managed to do is put all of his orcs in a line. And he's got the ball in a movement five guy, and there's like there's no headway. There's nothing, right? Like the, there's a complete disinterest in creating penetration there's just a line let's mill around and punch things and get punched back a bit as well and i feel like he had to be a little bit more aggressive and try and claim any space at all <laughs> i hated this turn hated it I guess he gets to use the frenzy to um, clear both the ball carrier and like yeah, yeah okay well I, I would have done it slightly differently but so what I would have done is <laughs> I guess the thing is the the blitz we can blitz this guy right I would have just pushed him into the big one who would then push him up to here right and then you could smash down this side and and then blitz this guy and, and actually like make some headway into the opposing half. I quite like that. And he's just trying to get another surf. This time he doesn't re-roll it because he's down to one. Don't didn't really see when he used that re-roll. <laughs> but um he is He's trying to get that surf, which just doesn't matter, right? You've got you've got to get forward. So now turn five because the turn four was bad, now the turn five is bad, and now he's he's got a little bit of headway, but it's not it's not a lot, is it? Mm. Ah, he's not surf bit right, because it, it would have to. He's got a player here, so he'd have to like completely abandon defense. To put somebody there to like hit him and then hit him out, uh, you know, like ludicrous, ludicrous to uh, surf him. So yeah, he just he does that to just trap him and not get surfed himself. Now that is surf bait. <laughs> that is surf bait, but again, it's not that bad, right? So you blitz has to be to clear the. Uh, Thing. Troll goes stupid. 
So you go one, two, three, four, five. So you can get the ball up to about here. But it's turn six. That's a bit like I don't like this already, right? He's one back from where he could have been. He could have been one forward because he could have done this hit first, and then he could have been one forward, and then just not bother guarding the back. So yeah, he puts in the guard, gets the surf. So like that was kind of surf bait in a way. Is his own play with surf bait there? But this this could have already this block could have already happened. Maybe this is okay, but it's not good enough for turn six, is it? Like it's been in pretty much dream drive, three three dwarves removed. One orc, but uh two have out damaged by this much. And then simply not leveraged it whatsoever. This was a a great call by Art when he was doing this. It, it goes really too fast. You've got to pause it so much, it goes so fast. This was his sixth square, was blitzing him. So he could have surfed afterwards, but I didn't particularly like using him to assist the surf. I think he has to GFI once or twice to get back and screen, right? And then not move him in as well. Like this this move in is really bad. And this non... I guess you could not GFI and just hope he holds it all by himself. But hoping one guy holds it all by himself and dodging him off is, is really hoping for a lot, right? So easier to GFI to there... And then he's all, and then you could do dodges and stuff as well to make it stronger. But not only does he not GFI, he also then slams. He just loves getting all of his guys punched. I think. Oh, it gets him a block. Well, I value trying to screen a lot more than making some punches. Right now. And he goes for the the one into one surf, and yeah, we've got a gaping hole here. Any second now. Troll gets his 4 plus. Glorious. And this was a 2 into 1, wasn't it? Gets, oh no, it wasn't the frenzy. Okay. Disregard. Errata. Errata. <laughs> so he's chaining these guys forward. More blocks. More removed dwarves. Apple fails. This is better in that if it works, you get the other guy up. He's once again Davo's dice have been ridiculous. By the way, constant stuns and removals. <laughs> right, so four plus for a one D. And double tag the blitzer first. And for some reason, he wastes a reroll and goes to a completely irrelevant square. And then fails his dodge. So you should have double tagged this blitzer, right? Because if you want, you, you can't get to assist unless you make like a 4 plus dodge as well. That's obviously not worth it. So you just want him in front so that this guy's double tagged. So that if you power him, this guy's double tagged. So he wasn't really planning for failure state or success state with that move. It was just literally a relevant move. He should have been two square. This was just the better square for him. Um, and I think Devil still has to GFI here. So whew, that was a bit rowdy. That was a bit of a rowdy drive there. And you know, look, he got the removals from being greedy for removals. So, you know, like it's paid off for him if he doesn't want in 36. So it's, it is hard to say it's objectively wrong. But I feel like he's got the coaching advantage and the team advantage. He doesn't need to be playing that greedily that he uh, doesn't get any penetration whatsoever. I think he could have, you know, had a few less hits and made it up a lot safely and quicker and better. Only 12 players for the Dwarves, so um, 
Oh, I fuck, I forgot to change the uh, title. Never mind. Too late now. Injured. That helps a bit, because Debo's guard could stay out. It's not nothing. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, you could get, um... So it could have been 11, right? If his Dauntless works, he's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So he actually could have made that a 3 dice if his Dauntless had worked. And then he might have got a Mighty Blow knockdown. Instead of a non-Mighty Blow knockdown. Which might have caused him. <laughs> Nitpicky, but it's one of those things where there's no excuse for not doing it, you know? Um, right, so it's still 11 for for Manager 1, Plotness, but only 10 for Dave, or the guard stays out. So a bit unlucky there, I've got no idea what this offset, like asymmetrical defence is about here. No idea what that's about. Well, now he gets to make it more symmetrical. <laughs> Which kind of scuppers his uh, dauntless plan, doesn't it? I don't know why I didn't just set up in like the kind of proper anti-frenzy defense to start with, right? Because you don't really want him mighty blowing good players from you. Goes in. It was like a 2 into a 1, right? Uh, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, it was 2 into a 1 with the chance of Dauntless. So there can be a bit of a gaping hole here. And like dwarves, while not fast, are faster than. Sorry, orcs, while not fast, are faster than dwarves. But he's, he's not going to. He's not going to do anything. He's just going to. Try and maximise blocks. Which is completely reasonable at this stage, right? The first two or three turns. On defence, you're just staying in front of them. Like, for some reason, Plotinus just likes giving away blocks. He's like, my guys are on a nine. Um, this is fine. But it's not fine. <laughs> Armour it gets broken too. At least Plotinus has recognised some urgency to move upfield here, which is nice to see. Nope, oh, except now, no, he's splitting the team in half. Disregard. Errata, errata. This is about the worst thing you can do on defence, on offence, right? Just having, having some guys over here and some guys over here, and these are all just getting knocked over next turn. Like, almost certainly just all getting knocked over. Including an armor eight guy. Okay, no, he he gets to hit and push away, but still, not a fan. Not a fan of giving away loads of blocks. Don't need the. Uh, don't need the rings on. So now whichever way he's going, he's like stranding half of his team. Though I guess these can, because Devo moved away from these, these can wrap around. Yeah, so I quite like that. Again, basing. Hmm. Does a GFI and uh, 
failed. <laughs> Maybe could have not GFI'd. Hello, Dimmy. For oh, Dimmy, do you wanna do you wanna join us in the booth? Jimmy's in. Oh man. Hello, Jimmy. Dimbo. Dimbo. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, there we go. Uh, hello. How are you, mate? You right? Yeah, I'm alright. Thanks. Yeah. How are you? <laughs> um. Oh, mate. I just got diced off the face of the earth, and I'm um, a little bit angry. Oh. Well, you've come to the right place. I get diced all the time. Yeah, I did. I came here to cheer up and then I was sad when I realised you weren't playing and getting diced. Who's this guy? Sorry. This is Plotinus rolling seven GFIs this turn. Um, oh, I, I saw. But this is Davo, isn't it? This is Davo versus Plotinus, sorry. Yep, yep. This is Davo Plotinus, yeah. yeah. He didn't need these, so many GFIs, right? This guy should have gone there and this guy should have gone there and then it makes it harder for him to run around. And because he's got these here, like it's hard to get all of these over to get around the the this side so i think i think he could have saved himself two gfis there but you know i, I quite like turning the corner when he had the chance um at least he's got forward you know Davo just didn't get forward on his drive and at least uh plotness has got forward yeah it's a horrendous matchup for owa you know, so. it is uh owa <laughs> Dwarves, oh, these dwarves! It's because they're wearing like a weird kit. I think. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I... <laughs> I don't know. I'm still tilted. I'm still tilted. <laughs> oh dear. It's a KO. Mighty mm. blow! Mighty blow! Blitz our troll slayer. Mm. Dub skull. Did he have to reroll that dub skull? Maybe. Could he yeah. done some safe moves first? Maybe. Yeah, he had to. He had to because he wants to blitz the ball, I guess. Wanted to surf as well. <laughs> yeah, for sure he did. Yeah. Not sure he had to blitz the ball here, right? He could have just, he could have not made all of these hits again and then gone back and forced the score next turn. Whereas now he's not forcing the score by going for that one D. I think it was, I think it was much better to try and cave in as much as he could. Cave in. Cave in. No spoilers, the boomer, please. No spoilers. Well, well, you know, these are for the YouTube people. Wow. <laughs> Dodgy dwarfs. Mm. It's not the end of the world, but you know. <laughs> That's he's going to double surf. On 3D. But you know, he, sh he could have piled in more. Made, made, uh, made Plotinus roll dice to score. But... Double surfing. It's got upsides, right? He could have made two removals. And uh, he makes one. There you go. Makes one removal. And it probably still probably still forces him to score, doesn't it? It's just that it's a, a free score. So that might have been the best play, honestly, making that serve. Uh, yeah, I think so, like, well, I don't know, it's hard to say with Dwarves, isn't it, because it's, I guess it's just a straight injury roll and it's, uh, so hard to get rid of Dwarves. Yeah, that's Normally. the thing, yeah, it's yeah. like, yeah, attrition-wise it's really good, it just, like, it's only one in six to cast them. It's, I mean, yeah, two of them. it's cast both of them, it's so lucky, and one of them is guard as well. No, he'd already cast him, didn't he, that, he just got uh, one, he just got one, yeah. He like he surfed him. He actually well, he did surf him. He did he he did surf the guard. Yeah, he did surf the guard. But that was like the first half. Um. <laughs> so it's, what's this? A three-turn score for Davo. Let's see if he bothers getting forward this time. <laughs> it's, a, it's a spoiler because I know that he doesn't. 
<laughs> it's just really weird. I mean, man. he's trying. He's trying. I mean, barely. Yeah. Look, he's gone back. He's not really trying to get forward at all. Just punch things. Really weird, man. Like a three-turn score with orcs, and he's just, you know, not. It was first of all, it was like a bit of a rubbish defense from Plotinus. Leaving like gaping holes, and then Devo just didn't go for them really. Turn down a gaping hole, you'd never do that, would you, Dim? Never, Jimmy. <laughs> My knobs would be slamming through that hole. <laughs> nice! <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, really. Oh, it's a chain. Chain for the uphill on the ball. Uphill. Don't hate this at all. Pims no. the clock. And then he doesn't do it. He didn't he didn't do it, Jeff? Yeah, and it's it's what is it? It's block on no block as well, isn't it? Yeah. So it's like, yeah. And it's it's Hang fourteen on. squares as well. He's he's is fourteen that? squares away and he's fucking movement five. <laughs> so even a push <laughs> means that he's got to hand it off to somebody at least. And it's animosity as well. Mmm. Exactly. It's really good to just get the push, but you're pretty decent odds of like powering him down, right? Yeah, pretty good. Whereas instead, what oh, you actually do is is powers. give him a chain, which Devo has refused. Devo could have used the chain to like push his own players further forward, but you know, obviously, this game he's not really thinking about getting forward for some reason. I think mean, he's just like bloodthirsty. Yeah. Maybe I tilted mean, from does... the art game earlier. Uh, yeah, maybe. Because, <clears throat> Plus, yeah. it's like it's a high pressure game, isn't it? It's like, yeah, it's... It is. It is. I wonder if, it... on genuinely, I wonder if it gets to Dave a bit. I want. He seems to, you know, always I think, be trying I think to get the weekend removals. Is, I think the weekend maybe got to him a bit because uh, I don't think he played as well as he can. Mm. He certainly doesn't seem to be playing great this game. The fact that he's just refusing to, you know, to to get forward, like versus Art, you know, he he didn't defend the Dakar, you know, as as well as I would have liked. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like he wasn't aggressive, right? He wasn't trying to yeah. kill snotlings. He's just sitting back. I don't, I don't like. Well, mate, back. it was the, it was the one with the gutter, wasn't it? Like Art ran his gutter back, and he just ignored it. Like he had a three mm. D on the gutter, like right there, and like I don't know whether he just didn't realise how good the one like he must know how good the underworld one turn is mm. but like if you cast the gutter it's like it's, it's almost GG like it is yeah so and this is not easy it. this is not an easy well so the play here is to try and free somebody wait he could have freed this guy who could have then gone one two three four five and then he could have blocked him for a pow to push him to there, right? And then if you get the power, then you've got the three plus handoff. But, um, oh, wait, is Mr. Pro not in range? No, no, that's on me. He, he, oh he, my god, he's okay, completely right. behind. He's, he's got a handoff to this guy, and then wait, he rolled a dub skull. He rolled. Do place? Oh, no, he blocked. He made a blockless block. A blockless block? Oh my god, this was crap from Dave. <laughs> no offense. But he's uh, won the toss. And he's up against ten dwarves. So surely now he'll win. <laughs> don't call me Shirley. <laughs> hey. Hey. See, I don't know I don't know why the troll's not going in the middle here, because I would put the troll in the middle and then punch the other two dwarves into the troll. Because you want like if you can get like three dwarves on the troll, that's just so like, so much value. Plus mm. you get like a three D with the troll. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I'll be honest. I don't really think about or care where my troll is. I just put them all on the line and and hit things. Yeah. <laughs> so that's probably, unless you say like with the pressure and like you know all of that stuff, uh, you know it's probably easy just to revert to type and just be a, nothing but a greedy banger. Yeah, I think it, like it doesn't like in a long drive. It doesn't matter as much like cause... yeah. 
Like they'll be tough. But I just, yeah, I just hope like having three dwarves on a troll is pretty great. And none of them have got guards, you know. It's like. Yeah, it's alright, it's alright. You at least want him to be able to make mighty blow hits when they stand oh, up. Oh, there you go. He'd only be on two now anyway. <laughs> well, he's completely free, look. Mm. But I mean, he can move on two, can't he? Like, he would have only been on two because one cast. <laughs> So yeah, it's really hard for Plotinus now. Basically no chance, but it's not over. You can... You well, know, Andy's can just got something. no reroll, is he? He's got no reroll. He's got no rerolls, yeah. And like, he's only got like, what? Is that four block players? Um, yeah. Yeah, I guess so there's an like argument for just basing <laughs> everything, isn't there? Yeah, every hit is a, like a potential turnover, right? It's like... Mm. Yeah, it's funny because Plotnus was basing a lot earlier, and he's still basing it, you know, a little bit better. Yeah. But he was basing loads earlier. I mean, he's pretty screwed. He, he's not got the ball. It's overtime, and he's down players. So, yeah. like, you're just desperate now, aren't you? You know. Like, I mean, I I wouldn't be so like I wouldn't blame him for being completely mentally. Well, I guess it's more important not to be mentally checked out because of the occasion and the money on the line and stuff, you know. But like. If this was just like a normal ladder game, I would probably be mentally checked out. Like, yeah. Know. Oh, hundred percent. Going through the motions, yeah, making, yeah. making the plays, but not really thinking about them. But you know, still ostensibly making the best plays. But yeah, not expecting anything and just thinking, well, you know, if I get really lucky, there'll be a shot. But... Yeah. The problem is he's picked the ball up as well. When it's raining and they've got no <laughs> rerolls, and you're like, please don't pick the ball up. Like, Shh. <laughs> Sure. And they always they like they'll pick it up on like a five plus easy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, Come on, man. Yeah. Or it's a touchback. They yeah. catch the kick. You just say, like, oh, you get out, son. It's a three D, a blockless three D block. Ah, at least, it's at least it's, didn't put him on the troll. No. Hmm. So I'm still just blocking things. Max blocks every turn. Like, you know, to be fair, Plotinus is really getting in the way, so yeah, it doesn't even take these because he might want to. Yeah, because yeah, everyone in nines it's like a 1D and then a 1D on the ball. Right? Mm -hmm. Disaster. I wonder if there's a. Like uphill for a one, two, three, four, five, six GFI. An uphill for a for a double dodge GFI one D. Wait, what about this guy? Did you just move him? One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, he's too far away. I mean, you've got to do something, right? You're not going to defend by just having nine guys milling around the middle. I don't think. No, I don't think so. He's pretty screwed to be fair, this is like, it's close. The only thing that's in this is the fact that Devo has got no reroll. Yeah. Oh yeah, if Devo had like three rerolls, this is over. But with two, it's probably over. With one, there's a vague chance, but with zero, yeah, there there is some chance. Also with Devo not getting forward, right? This is turn four, still at halfway line. He's just not getting forward. I mean, even if he scored early, you got to back yourself to stop Dwarves players down with Orcs, right? Yeah. You got the speed and the strength advantage. Put on the guard. You've got the guard advantage, the strength advantage, and the speed advantage. <laughs> <laughs> The only thing you haven't got is the block and the. Uh, oh my god, he's, he's got the ball pace, dude. Yeah. No reroll. Oh yeah, my god. Things could happen. Oh, he had to tag that line, though, didn't he? No, 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 I guess it doesn't matter. Well, he's got a lot of. He's got a lot of options. Gonna try and make it 3D if he can, isn't he? Which he does. 
Maybe he didn't have to, you know, maybe he could have just made it two, but he really doesn't want a one in nine, does he? So Maybe three was correct, but it does cost him another turn of getting forward. Oh wow, stupid troll. <laughs> the one time he activates the troll and goes stupid, that's brilliant. <laughs> really game. Really game. <laughs> He's dwarves. <laughs> It's just like, it feels like they're just like going into random squares. <laughs> yeah, they're just playing musical chairs with each other. Uh, I mean, that's like not even a screen or anything like that. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> hey, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like this square. Yeah, he's designing. <laughs> he's still just 3D before moving the ball. Move the ball! You've got no rerolls! Move the ball! Move the ball, devil! Uh, I guess it. What turn is it? 22. Oh, yeah. Yeah, move Bloody the oh. fucking ball. Yeah. You're not even in range. You're still not in range! <laughs> uh, is that one of oh, my God. Why aren't you one forward? You're literally not in range. I mean, like, he's in range to score, but not without a 2 plus with no reroll. Unbelievable. Best match not Oh, if this is an armor break. Oh my god, it is an armor break. It is. <laughs> oh, did he make the dodge? No. Yeah. What happened? Ma there? Made the dodge, but failed the rush. Uh. So, a blockless blitz. One in nine, you know, probably just loses in I the mean, game. I mean, everything right? else is based, right? Everything else oh, is yeah, based. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, but still, still work, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, this isn't like as clean as. Another you'd blockless. It's not, no. Like, to say how many players are removed, and plus, you know, he's Dave all with orcs. Oh, there's the GFI that he needed. Yep. Huge, huge GFI. He's rolled all the dice. This guy uh, had to be here, right? Here. Yeah. Yeah, he won back. Because now you've got a 1 into a 2 to clear him. And That's red, no? Uh, he's got guard of his own. Oh, yeah, yes. So that's a 1 into a 2. Instead of red, there, yeah. And then he can just hit the ball. Well spotted, Jimothy. Tanks, Timothy. Pretty good. It's the POW! Hiya! Yeah. I swear that Hiya is a Bretonian sound. Oh my, he dodged. So yeah, he went, he went for the dodge GFI to make it 2D. I'm not oh, sure that's worth it compared to just like 224. If you've done the 1D blitz. Interesting, isn't it? it Super is. interesting. I'm not sure it's which is interesting. Better. We could samber it after the match. I like just saying, why didn't he do that for either one? And then uh, <laughs> whichever one he picked is going, I would have done the other one. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing, isn't it? After these kind of games, you always think, oh, what if I'd done that and stuff? But none of it really matters much, does it? It's all pretty close, and even if one is better by a few percent. Yeah, like a couple of percent, yeah. I mean, it's, yeah. Like, obviously, you want to be aiming for the... Yeah, the best move, but it's not going to matter too much at the end of the day. The, you do your best and the dice decide, don't they? But, uh... Yeah, or sometimes you do, like, terribly, and, like, it still works. It's just... <laughs> Bonkers. Yep. So no timeout. No, nope. and he just ends the turn. Good lad. Good lad plotting yeah. this. He just ends the turn. I, I like the end turners, honestly. I, I don't like the <laughs> let's waste five minutes of making pointless blocks on turn 16 people. <laughs> well, I don't, I don't hate them as people, but you know what I mean? Like, I just don't really enjoy 
watching a turn for no reason. Um, well, there you go. Uh, commiseration to Plotinus. This was the loser's bracket, so he is eliminated. Um, yeah, commiser massive commiserations. I, I feel bad for the guys that qualified for this and didn't hit the money. Like It's pretty brutal. Yeah, it's sad, isn't it? But, you know, at least at least they lost two games, you know? At least, like, you know... They had a chance. It, yeah, yeah, at least have, having the... You know, everyone who goes out has lost at least two games. So, you know... Fair, it's you know, better it's, than, like, some of competitions. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. And uh, congratulations to Andy Davo, who goes through to the winner's bracket round two. Uh, sorry, the loser's bracket round two. Oh, my God, I'm terrible at doing this. Um, thank you very much, Dimmy G. Been glorious thank having you. you on. Thank you, Jimmy. And thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.